and then we're gonna go live on Facebook and then we'll hold that one second here hit next and sometimes it just takes a few seconds there's a little bit of a delay and as we always say wait for it and uh, we are i believe live i always start to say no we're not but there's this little fun delay but we are live and actually i literally get to share with the this beautiful audience that this is actually family so i would love to introduce bruno our cousin which is actually marla's first cousin's son, so Lori and Marla are first cousins, and Bruno, we're once removed by your family, so you are my brother, <laughs> and we're honored that we get to share your story, your journey, and yes, we can say family, but also spiritual family. Sometimes that's not in alignment, so I can actually say to everyone today, this is, this is both. So, um, such a pleasure to have you. So, say yeah. hello to the world. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, I always love sharing my story, especially, you know, how I got into fitness. Uh, I think it's a powerful thing. I always tell my clients um, or anybody that I'm talking to, you know, how you show up for your health is ultimately how you're going to show up for your life in general. Yeah. So, we have to, you know, it sounds cliche, but you have to put your oxygen mask on first so that you can take care of those around you. That's that's critical um, and it's not easy you know life life has its ups and downs you know it seems the majority of the world right now is in one of those down times um, but if you can learn how to maintain that discipline with your health and your fitness through the ups and downs that's literally what it's going to take you know um, you know I always tell people you know what when in life can you get 30 give 30 or 40 percent effort and actually get the result you want you have to you have to give it all all the time and you have to be intentional about those actions that you're taking, no matter what's going on in the good times and the bad times. So to give you guys um, a background of how I got into fitness, I was about 17 years old. I was really depressed. Um, turned to my doctors for help. They put me on antidepressants right away. You know, within about two weeks, I was too happy. You know, like I'd look at something, think it was so beautiful and like cry because it you know, just that's not normal. So we couldn't get to the doctor for about a week. Um, that's normal for me, by the way. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm not on any meds. It's <laughs> awesome. So we figured, you know, let's let's cut this pill in half. Let's start lowering this dose until we can get to the doctor. Um, we understood that that wasn't a medication that you could just immediately get off of. So the problem was it was a generic medication and the chemicals are not uniformly spread throughout that medication. So just because you cut that pill in half, that does not necessarily mean that you're getting half a dose. And when you're manipulating dosages of medications like antidepressants, that really throws your body chemistry out of the whack. So essentially, long story short, you know, I didn't sleep for 12 days um, and there's all host of problems that comes along with that so i was placed into a psychiatric ward with kids aged 12 to 17. Um, i was the oldest one there and that was about a month-long stay at the end of that they tried diagnosing me as manic depressive bipolar disorder you know telling my mom that i would be lucky if i lived a normal life if i could hold a normal job and i mean you tell a 17 year old kid to go clean their room they don't want to listen to you let alone hand them a new identity so of course, I just, you know, rejected it at the, at the beginning. And I was like, I had lost their trust already at this point. You know, they got me, I felt that they got me into this situation when I reached out for help. So um, I just said, no, I don't want to listen to it. Don't want to accept it. And then week after week, you know, everybody around me, doctors, uh, friends, family members telling me I was sick. You know, I had to listen to them struggling, you know, with, with my mood, still struggling with my sleep and my weight. Um, I just kind of gave in, you know, so I started taking their medications and then, you know, we tried to find quote unquote, the, the right medication. Um, and, and that took about three years till I just reached a point where I was like, all right, like nobody's coming to save me. So if I don't figure this out by myself, like this is going to be my life forever. So I really only have two options, do it their way and be miserable or, you know, take that leap of faith and figure it out myself and prove everybody wrong. So that's really what I chose to do. You know, it was a choice. And I had that intention of taking back control of my life 
and showing everybody that, you know, I can do what I want. So stop taking medications. Um, one of my good friends, I started working out with him at the gym. I took myself from 107 pounds to 135 pounds in about eight months. So that was a really big jump. Um, my mindset, you know, I started to develop a better mindset. Um, but I still believed that I was a sick person, you know, um, I still had that limiting belief instilled in me. So anytime, um, something, something would come up in life and I, you know, whether it was a job or a relationship issue or anything, any, any sort of obstacle, I would always kind of tell myself, Oh, well, you know, you're not normal. Like you're not like everyone else. And just kind of give, give myself that limiting belief, give myself that excuse. Um, and then I, I started to get hurt a lot at the gym. I realized I really didn't know what I was doing and I needed to kind of further my education along with exercise and nutrition. So one of my uh, good friends enc encouraged me to get certified. So I got certified, um, started working in, you know, big gyms, little gyms, just kind of got chewed up and spit out by the fitness industry and, and kind of started to develop my own limiting belief that, you know, maybe this wasn't for me, like actually working in the fitness industry. Um, so I left um, with no intentions of ever coming back. I just, you know, I was burnt out. I was sick of it. And I enrolled myself into audio engineering school. So literally just to take a break because growing up I was a musician um, and I just wanted to like, I wanted to know how things worked and, and how to build songs and things like that. So when that was done, I knew that um, I couldn't just like go get a regular job. And I, I didn't, I didn't know who to work for in the fitness industry because I didn't trust any of the companies and I had worked for a lot of companies locally. So um, I got connected with a, with a company called First Form. Essentially they sell supplements, but it's really more than that. Um, they're focused on personal development, you know, and just educating um, their, their, their customers on nutrition. And then, you know, we can make those recommendations and fill in those gaps if we need to. But it was a, it was a group of people that I found that was gonna push me forward that I would never outgrow. Even if I decided to leave the fitness industry or not move forward with them, it was always a group of people that was gonna be in my life. Um, so I figured, well, I'm, I'm not just going to sell supplements to people. Like I have a skill set. Why don't I just take all that experience working in the fitness industry? Why don't I just work for my own clients, you know, go do my own thing. So, um, I got connected through one of my business coaches, um, to a guy that lived up in North Scottsdale. He had a gym called Glory Gains and I got started working there. Um, if you guys have ever started a business, you know, it's, it's an intense ride. So it's just really, you know, being persistent and having that grit um, and just pushing through. So it was about that time um, where I met someone named uh, Nathan Kullerman. He was another trainer at that gym and he's really cool, really, you know, vibed with him. Uh, he's probably one of the only people that I kind of saw myself developing a friendship with, you know, long term inside that gym. And I noticed he was always wearing this thing around his neck. And I saw a couple other people wearing it. And after a couple of weeks, I was just like, you know, what is that thing? Um, and uh, he's like, well, it's an attention stick. You know, it's a part of a tree of life movement. Um, there's this guy named Scott. He, uh, he makes these. And I was like, oh, okay. I didn't think anything of it. I was like, whatever. A couple of weeks go by. And then I started, I think I saw maybe, maybe even it was like Facebook ads or something like that. I was like, all right, I got to see what this is all about. And I Googled it. And what do you know? My cousin's face <laughs> pops up. <laughs> and I hadn't talked to Scott or Marla for, I want to say close to 10 years. You know, I grew up um, in Chandler. Um, but, you know, like I said, I had moved up to Scottsdale to train out of that gym. So I felt it was only, you know, appropriate to, to not order it on, off the internet, but at least, you know, give them a call and reconnect, let them know, hey, I'm living up in Scottsdale. And, uh, you know, like you say, no, no coincidences. Nope. So um, we reconnected. Um, I got my intention stick. And then from there, it was just, it was like everything got turned on fast forward. You know, um, my whole life just started to kind of accelerate. But it wasn't like some magical thing. Like I still had to put in the work, you know, that was a huge component of it. But it, it gave me some sort of grounding and belief. You know, that it wasn't just a coincidence that I had reconnected with my cousins. Um, you know, that it was, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it was, it was something special. So that's pretty much where I've, where I've been um, the past uh, couple years. It's just 
you know, reconnecting with other people, kind of spreading the word. People are observing my life, you know, kind of put in that fast forward play. And um, yeah, I'm just still, still, still building my business, impacting lives. It was pretty rough when the gyms closed, um, when all this COVID stuff happened. Um, I'm at a new gym right now. It's called Self Made Training Facilities. Amazing people. It's kind of everything that I um, ever, you know, uh, could have asked for. So I have this really amazing platform to, you know, meet people and impact more people. Um, and it's it's cool for the people to that 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 reach out to me that, that you know have seen my journey. Just like I said, just been, been accelerated ever since you know we got reconnected, and I've been wearing this around my neck. So. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that story. It's so powerful. And um, I know, you know, that long journey you were on for quite some time. It's also why um, we weren't connected because I know that oh, yeah. you had some things, uh, this journey you were on. Yeah. Well, when I know now, like mm -hmm. that gave me the tools to help the people that I serve now. That's but right. in the beginning, it was like, why me? Why did this happen to me? Yeah. You know? Um, but that, that, that's what qualifies me to help the people that I serve now. And I know that now. Absolutely. Your, your soul searching is searching. It, it needs something. And, and you were trying to figure that out, that piece out and you have, and, uh, we just love your story and it's so powerful. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Tell us, do you know what intentions you have in your intention stick? or what intentions you've put in there that have really helped you? I think they all helped me. Um, I think a big one was believe, you know, mm -hmm. you have to believe and, and also remembering that the work comes before the belief. Mm -hmm. You know, I always tell like, even my clients, like try to give them an analogy, like, okay, you're going to go work for someone. You're going to work for them for two weeks before they pay you. <laughs> You know, that's kind of how it happens. You have to put in the work before you really start to believe, but you do have to accept that and have the intention of believing in the beginning, you know? Well, that is beautiful. And that's how we see it as well. By the way, that, that's what I have in my intention stick, believe. <laughs> <laughs> it just, believe always seems to work for me when I manifest. Well, you know, you know thought, thoughts really do become things, right. you know? So there's science that, that, that backs that, um, you know, there's, I mean, I've, I've, I've experienced it personally. You guys have too. So. Yeah. But don't you think that people, um, they want to see it before it happens. Yeah, and, they do. and, and what you yeah. just said is actually the opposite, which is we have to believe it first. Yes. And then it's going to show up right and then we're going to see it yeah. yeah i always i always tell myself like i try to match the energy of what i want and try to imagine like okay what do i want to attract and what kind of energy would i have to be putting out to attract that you know you're going to attract whatever energy you put out so if you are putting out fear and worry and you know all these negative things that's what's going to come back to you no matter how much you may deserve it or want it or need it that's not what's going to come back to you. You have to match the frequency with the vibration, the emotion, the feelings of what you want to attract. Oh, so spot on. And something amazing that I want to take you back because when you came to our office and you received your intention sticks, you actually had purchased several more because you, and I want you to share the story because it was wow of what took place at this trip so kind of back up a step when you you left you said scott hey i need to come in and grab some more intention sticks i'm leaving on a trip i want you to share what took place yeah so i had a couple people that i wanted to gift those to as i went out and i traveled to st louis um and it was really an amazing um event so it's called summer smash it's an event that gets put on by the, the supplement company that i work with called first form it's essentially um, customers, outside representatives like myself, and we all get together and we have a family workout at a gym, and then we throw a huge pool party, um, and basically behind their headquarters inside the industrial park. So um, the owner of that company, his name is Andy Frisella, and he's always been a very in influential figure in my life. He has an awesome podcast, 
Um, it's called Real AF. But he basically has a line of people, you know, waiting to meet and greet him. And I do a specific type of, uh, uh, I guess, an advanced training. Uh, it's called it's called a, a ballast ball. So it looks like a stability ball, but it's like a high performance stability ball. So I do advanced core training with that. And I was able to bring that with me to St. Louis and, and you know, take people through um, personal training sessions on that ball. So at that event, you know, Andy has a line of, you know, hundreds of people waiting to see him and just five feet away from him, there's me on my ball doing my thing. And there's a line of people waiting to see me. So you want me to share that photo? Yes. That would be amazing. Cause that is just talk about a, a success story. Well, and then the picture that they got here was just perfect. <laughs> that is wow. awesome. Bruno, that is it's just amazing. And, and look at that light, just your aura and just people. Oh, I got the choice. I know, same. <laughs> and, and that's, that's success. That's immediate gratification of your journey. And I know you're, thank you for sharing that, by yeah. the way. And something that really touched Marlon and I, and it was just all out of the blue, and it's not out of the blue, but you had sent a message, this was months ago, and it was so beautiful. You said, I would love to get the family together, mom and the cousins, and I would like to get them intention sticks so we can all talk about this and, and really be on this journey together. And I'm reading this message, like talk about just love mm -hmm. and you sharing your heart and wanting, not just, of course, your family to, to understand, but to, to bring them together, to help them, whatever they may be going through or continue their journey with that light and love and success that you've achieved. So talk about selflessness. And it was so amazing. They all came over to the house and, and Marla and I and you shared the backstory. And as you know, we all hold hands as everyone had their intention sticks and everyone chose their words and just that vibration, that energy and just watching their journeys unfold. And, and again, no coincidences. I, we won't go into all the great stories, especially with mom and uh, the, the 22 and the 11. I mean, just great where we just laugh and giggle but that is like you said earlier being in a state of gratitude and helping one more person or five more or a hundred or as marla and i say seven billion plus and that's what we're all brought here to do and you you did you just you brought that family even closer together. Because sometimes, again, we all kind of are on the path and sometimes life happens and, and sometimes we go off the path. And it's, it's okay. And then sometimes we come back in. And when we do, it's for the right reason. And you said earlier, I'm kind of sharing, you said you're not sure what happened or why it happened, but we, as you now know, we say divine timing. Things yeah. happen exactly when they should and for the right reasons. And, and that's this beautiful message. So if we can just reach one more soul and help them get through something that may be challenging or difficult, or they're going through their own, whatever that may be, and help them fill up, and they do the same for another, that's what we know brings us all our bliss. That soul to soul connection, whether that fitness aspect or, or whatever it may be, and, and we're doing it, we're not talking about it. And that was just incredible. That evening was, you know, was awesome. sure, it was very for a half hour or so, or 45 minutes. I think you guys were here for like four hours. It was <laughs> off the charts fun. And, and that's amazing. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. You're, you're such a bright light. And, you know, I, I even can recall, you probably can too, um, when you were much younger, you know, you were always just checking and observing everything, you know, very to himself, quiet, mm -hmm. it's always very sweet. And you're still that way. Um, you're still such this beautiful soul and you do. And it's no wonder that you're in the industry that, that you chose mm -hmm. because you are helping every single person that comes in contact with you. And you are, you're so uplifting and inspiring. So we are so grateful that you are now part of the movement 
and that you wear the intention stick and that you speak about it because we know the importance and significance, especially today, of, of helping one another. Definitely. Yeah. And, and, talk I about and, I'm, and I'm grateful for you guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and I was going to say, talk about literally or physically body, soul, and mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and we do have to have that balance, you know. And, and yes, we do have to put the work in. And I love, I absolutely love you shared that story about belief or trust mm -hmm. because most people like you said they have to see something or touch it to yeah. believe it it's that instant gratification they need it you know yes and they're all looking for that instant miracle or that overnight success and you have to trust the journey as marl and i as you and and anyone that's watching that is that we have to take that leap of faith, right? To believe in ourselves that we know that a better day is coming or whatever we're going through, like again, this COVID or whatever, the next obstacle or challenge that comes into our lives that we say this too shall pass. And like you, the tests that you've had on your journey, and I know because I was right there as Marla and I with your mom going through every little detail and telling your mom, he's going to be fine. I, I promise you. Right. And this is going back years ago. And I would say that to your mom and Marla would say that to your mom almost daily because I, it was tough. But as we say, this too shall pass. And those challenges, those obstacles, those heavy tests that were given, again, bring us to the next place in our lives. And it makes us who we are today. And for this, thank you, right? Everything's a gift. And talk about the gifts you've been given because your, your journey is just already just <laughs> wow. It's on fire. And I, the light, as Marla just said, that you put off, I know is being felt from anyone that comes into your, your presence when you train them, your, your facility, which I've been to, which is incredible, by the way. Talk about state of the art and light and love and the energy, just wow, really. So definitely whoever sees this, go check it out. But um, not to be patronizing, but we are so proud of you. Thank and you. Couldn't be happier for you. And actually you do deserve it because you put in the work. And it is paying off tenfold and, and in every way possible. And it can only continue to grow because it is what you're putting out from your heart is exactly what's coming back. And you're living a life of intention. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. And, and literally honored to call you family. That's right. <laughs> you know, right? Spiritual and physical. <laughs> And by the way, believe is also one of Jaden's uh, favorite intentions. We will go to the mall or over, mm. you know, North Scottsdale. And Anywhere, really. And I don't see parking. She's always, <laughs> believe, Mom, just stay right here. I, I promise you, someone's going to be leaving. And two seconds later, some it's constant with her right. she's just always manifesting right believe. it's it's as simple as that so if we're like oh my goodness there's parking there's no spots and you're already getting that anxiousness or i'm never gonna find this well guess what you're never gonna find a spot yeah. <laughs> so if you're like hey before you even pull in again talk about manifestation mm -hmm. oh i'm gonna pull in there's gonna be a spot or there'll be one within 10 15 seconds and sure enough wait for it Bam. But it's, yeah, it's, it's that simple. It's so funny. The Laws of attraction. Right. <laughs> our Jaden, uh, so for those who don't know yet, Jaden, our youngest daughter, who is 12, talk about the ultimate manifester of everything <laughs> she wants. It just happens. And we're like, wow. And, and sometimes we question that, right? It's like, no, believe, trust that. And thank you for sharing your story with us, your beautiful yeah, journey. Thank you for inviting and, me on. And we're just blessed that we're all in each other's lives and uh, just really good things to continue for all of us in this beautiful world, all of our brothers and sisters, and everyone should be witnessing 
this happiness and this success. And, and again, yes, we're still going to go through these challenges, right? It's not all, you know, sugar canes and puppy dog. I mean, we're still going to be tested. It's okay, but it's going to allow us to continue to grow. I'm quoting you, we're putting the work in because it's going to pay off and we're not expecting anything in return. That's the most beautiful part. We're doing this because it feels good and it makes us happy. And if we receive nothing in return, it's okay. We're still happy, mm -hmm. right? That's the bliss that we always need to be in. So. Yeah, ha happiness isn't something you feel. It's, it's something you put in place. It's a system you put in place. That's yes. right. And, and it goes back to the I am presence, the I am, right? Yes. So all those positive words, the, the words coming from mm -hmm. love, that's what you're talking about. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, the joy, the kindness, the courage, the wisdom, mm -hmm. um, the love, the joy. The, the belief. Mm, the belief. Mm -hmm. And um, wow. So anything else you want to share or maybe something you would recommend to someone who may not have one yet or what you feel they should know about this? Like I said, you got to put in the work in every aspect, you know. You have to put in the work. Yes. Right. It's so perfect. I love it. And if, and if that work is working on towards believing, then that's the work that's in front of you. Yeah. Exactly. Right. It's that tool, that reminder mm -hmm. that I'm going to believe, or I'm going to trust, or I'm going to have more love or happiness or success. And again, it's about your journey. It's not about someone else's. It's you being the best version of you. And you continue to be the best version of you each day. You continue to grow. And that is the tree of life. It's the expansion of our souls. Yeah, and, and just really living in gratitude, you know, and understanding like, this isn't your practice life, <laughs> you know? <laughs> no do-overs. Right. You're exactly. right. And uh, we also know you're, you're being guided, right? You've got a good, you've got an amazing angel always on your shoulder and smiling down upon you right now. I know that I feel it. Wow. Right. <laughs> hmm. So we love you. Love you. Love you, guys. you. And we are sending as always blessings and intentions of gratitude, light and love to you and the whole family. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Love you. Bruno. Love yeah. you, brother. Yeah. Love you, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, cuz. See you soon. Yeah.